Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. This is uh, my version of a gold eye and a red lip. This is just my wearable version of it. I will um, dress it up tonight with more gold for a nighttime look. Um, but right now it's just a wearable one. And I am using um, Dior's, it's one color eyeshadow in gold touch. Looks like that. It's in gold touch. Let me take that off. And that's what I used all over my lid. Now, I have already primed my eyes with MAC Spare Study. And I actually am using um, Studio Sculpt Concealer, which is a new concealer for me. I like my Laura Mercier, but it's been um, kind of caking down there, and I really don't like that. So I went to MAC, and I used to use the Studio Fix Concealer, but that cakes really bad, too. It's thick, like I need, you know, the, for the coverage, but it cakes. So the lady, the makeup artist, suggested the Studio Sculpt, which is like the Studio Fix in coverage, only uh, it has more moisture to it. So that's what I'm using. I like it so far. It um, does give me the coverage I need. It's not complete, complete coverage, but it works. So that's what I'm using. Now I have um, applied the Bare Study all over. I'm going to take the Dior Gold Touch, and this is a e.l.f. eyeshadow brush, just to pack the color on. I'm going to get it on both sides of that brush and I'm going to apply it to my lid like so. Like that and I, you know, I create kind of that shape and over here. And then I'm going to take my MAC pencil brush and I'm going to run that color underneath like I always do. Like so. And then I'm going to take my blending brush and I'm going to blend the edges of that gold out. Um, I ordered this from Sephora and I like it a lot. I did not have, um, I do have some gold, some gold Urban Decay eyeshadows, um, but I thought this one was so pretty online and I actually thought it was a lot lighter gold. It is a dark gold, so I don't have a light kind of yellowy gold. This is kind of a dark gold. Um, but you know it's it's pretty. So let's put a little bit more color down here. You just want to kind of pack it on to the lid, make sure it's even. And then just blend like I said. And then I'm going to take and it's a cute little color. I mean there's the outside and then um, I'd like to get a silver too because I, I don't have any silver eyeshadows at all. And then it has, you know, it's little pouch. So adorable. It's cute. Okay, so um, then I'm going to take, this is Max Nylon. And I have hit pan on this one. I have a backup though. But I'm just going to take nylon and get that onto my brush. And I'm going to run that underneath my um, brow as well as here. And then I'm going to kind of pull it onto the lid and then right down here. On that inner corner area. And I do need a mirror for that. Here we go. Like so. Just make it a little even. And with my blending brush, I will blend again. Like that. And I have yet to take my antihistamine for the day, so I'm becoming a little runny. And then any fallout, there's not much, but any fallout you have you want to brush away. And then I'm going to take a brown eyeliner. This is a Smashbox. I like brown for during the day um, and black for nighttime looks. I'm going to line my waterline and the top up here. And I tried to record the green, the smoky green eyeshadow look again this morning with no luck. Um, while it did record, I remembered to push record 
my son, uh, who was right here next to me the whole time, was making the most racket ever. Um, he was banging his toy against his, uh, what's it called, his um, stationary walker, and um, it was just making, it was way too loud. So anyhow, um, okay, and uh, the other thing I was going to tell you guys, I'm going to use a little bit of the mulch, dark brown mulch, and I'll show it to you in a minute. I'm just going to put it out here in this corner for some depth right in there. I did the same thing over here, like that. And then I'm just going to blend. Um, is I've been looking at some, I have three videos that I have not answered comments on. So I know some of you have asked me some questions and I'm not ignoring you. I just have yet to get to those videos. This is mulch. It's a dark brown color. It's a very pretty dark brown. Um, one of uh, you guys asked me how I would suggest you wear a navy blue sequin skirt. And the easiest thing for me to tell you, the easiest way to wear um, any kind of statement skirt, and I call them statement skirts because they are sequin or if it's like a satin skirt with a, like a bright color like a fuchsia or a yellow, orange, red, any anything like that, any statement skirt that you want to wear. The easiest way for me to tell you guys to wear that without getting into mixing patterns or textures or anything like that is just with a black base. So a black turtleneck, black tights, black pumps, and your skirt, your statement skirt, beautiful look. It really and truly is a beautiful look. It's a very classic, clean, um, almost, you know, tailored look. It looks really pretty. And then you can jazz it up with accessories or, you know, however you want to do that. Okay, this is Max. This is not Max well-dressed. I don't have Max well-dressed. Um, I would love it. I just don't have it yet. It's on my list. But this color is a very light pink color, which is similar to Max well-dressed. So I'm going to take that a coastal scents color and I'm going to get that onto my cheeks just for some blush um anyhow so that is how I would suggest wearing um a statement skirt and then this is Laura Mercier's rose gold illuminator and I'm just going to put that onto my cheekbones and bring it around and then down my nose a little bit okay and lastly some mascara um that is how I love to wear any of my skirts. Just a, a basic foundation and then the skirt and I think it looks absolutely lovely. This is uh, Bare Essentials Booksome uh, Mascara. Oh, <laughs> thank you guys so much for how well received my um, dining room, Christmas dining room tour was or has been received. I really do appreciate uh, you guys and your you know, very nice comments. Thank you for understanding that I cannot show you my entire home, however, I will do bits and pieces of it, um, you know, as I see, or as I feel I'd like to. Um, I do, there, somebody did leave a comment though that they told me I, you know, talk too much, and, well, yeah, I talk too much. I've always said I do, and I always apologize for it in all of my videos. Um, I'm aware. I like to talk. I make YouTube videos. They go hand in hand, so. I talk too much. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, somebody left that comment and I thought it was funny. Okay. For a red lip, you always want to do the moisturization before you do your makeup. I put lip balm on before I started doing anything. Um, but I just, that's some Burt Bees. Uh, the other thing you want to do is to exfoliate, which I did first thing this morning. I do that when I brush my teeth. I try to exfoliate my lips too. So that's done just to get any flakes off because and you hear it from everybody, and it's true of really any any lip color that you wear. Red, just, you know, since it's emphasizing your mouth so much more, draws more attention to it, but of any lip color that you wear, um, even lip balms can emphasize your cracked <laughs> lips, flaky lips, so definitely do that. Um, this is Max Lip Pencil in Brick, and I'm going to put that on, and I line my true lip line. Uh, I know lots of people go above or they do just the inside or stay below the lip line. I line my true lip line. I um, I never try to go outside because I know I have very full lips anyway. So if I went outside my lip line, I would look like a clown because they'd just be more enormous. Um, so like I said, I... 
the line work to your lips. And then I line, you know, I go, I fill them in. And I have very large, not large, but full lips to begin with, so I can look like a clown very quickly. That is what I do. Oh, one of the other things that I do with my lip liner is if you use the side like this of the pencil to drag the color, you fill the lips in quicker and it smooths the color out. So you end up, like I end up getting lip pencil color on the actual, you know, pencil itself. But that, I like that. I like doing that. I feel like it helps my lipstick a little better. And then this is Chanel's Gabrielle. It's my absolute favorite red color. And you can put that on, on top, whoops, of that. And there you have your red lip. Um, so that is what I would suggest for a really pretty kind of daytimey look. Let me do a little bit more light, hopefully that y'all can see that. So it is a goldy brown um, and then just a kind of a light pink cheek and then the bright red lip. So that is my take on a gold eye red lip um, look. This is, like I said, more wearable for daytime and you can jazz it up at night with glitters and all kinds of other, you know, pretty gold shades. Um, so like I said, I will do that later on and come back and show you guys how I touch it up for nighttime. So this is the finished look. Uh, like I said, there's the up close version. And I like brown um, liner for day and black liner for night. It changes the kind of tones a little bit. So thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.